Are you looking for the best attachments for the Einhorn revolving shotgun that will allow you to one shot your enemies? Well I'm going to show you the best beginner, mid level and fully leveled attachments for the gun which will help you get more kills in every single game. What makes this gun so good is that it allows you to one shot enemies from a relatively long range for a shotgun, even on fully plated enemies. And if you own the battle pass for season 1 of Vanguard, you will unlock an amazing blueprint at level 42 that is only a handful of attachments shy of the best build for the gun, meaning that you won't have to spend much time leveling up the gun to make it as good as possible. To top this all off, this gun is really easy to use as you don't have to be aiming down sight to get these kills, as you'll be finding plenty of success just hip firing this gun. Now let's move on to the attachments. For the early level attachments, we will be taking the following. For the muzzle, we'll be running the M97 full choke for a tighter pellet spread, meaning the gun will be more accurate. For the barrel, we won't actually be taking anything here as the first barrel actually makes the pellet spread wider, which reduces the one shot capacity of the gun. However, we will be taking barrel attachments later on. For the optic, this doesn't matter massively, but the unobtrusive low zoom optics are best, such as the MK8 reflector. For the stock, run the Rystor folding to help out with sprint to fire speed, which is really important on shotguns, as this is an area that is typically really bad for shotguns, as without any attachments to improve this section, it can feel as if it takes a really long time to fire after sprinting. For the underbarrel, we won't be taking anything as the first attachment just hinders the sprint to fire speed. For the magazine, take the 16 gauge 5 round fast mags, as this just helps you reload a lot more rapidly, which given its low ammo capacity, this is an area you do need to focus on. For the ammo type, we won't be taking anything here as the early attachments just reduce the damage range, which isn't something you want to be doing. For the rear grip, take the hatched grip to help out with accuracy. For perk 1 and 2, none of them are that useful until mid-level attachments, so take whatever you have unlocked. The full build can be found on the screen now. Now let's move on to the mid-level attachments. For the muzzle, we will be taking the M97 full choke to reduce pellet spread. For the barrel, we'll be taking the Klauser 310mm light to help out with sprint to fire speed. For the optic, either take the NIDAR model 47 or the slate reflector, whatever feels best for you. For the stock, take the Rystor folding to help out with sprint to fire. For the underbarrel, take the Carver foregrip to help out with hip fire accuracy. For the muzzle, Take this 16 gauge 7 round cylinder for higher ammo capacity. For the ammo type, take the packed powder to increase your damage range, allowing you to have a better one shot capacity. For the rear grip, take the pine tar grip for more hip fire accuracy. For perk 1, take acrobatic to help out with your mobility. For perk 2, you want to be taking surplus, as this allows you to level up your gun around 20% faster. It's also worth noting that this doubles during double weapon XP activation. The full build can be found on the screen now. Now let's get into the fully leveled attachments. For the muzzle, you want to be taking the M97 full choke again to help out with that reducing of pellet spread. For the barrel, take the Klauser 710mm 02B barrel to help out a damage range to help kill your enemies from further away. For the optic, take the slate reflector. For the stock, take the VDD hunter for additional hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. For the underbarrel, take the SMLE pistol grip to help out with sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. For the magazine, take the 12 gauge 5 round cylinder to help out a damage range. For the ammo type, take packed powder for more additional damage range. For the rear grip, take the fabric grip for sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. For perk 1, take sleight of hand. As with this gun only having 5 rounds, you will need to be able to reload as quickly as possible and the difference between having it and not having it is extremely noticeable. For perk 2, go for fully loaded as the base 5 bullets do not go very far. The full build can be found on the screen now. One last really useful tip for using this gun is to make sure you're aiming down sight for those longer range opponents as this helps out with reducing the pellet spread, giving you a much higher one shot capacity. If you did find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button and if you'd like to see the best beginners loadout for Warzone, click on the video on screen now. If you did make it all the way to the end, let me know in the comments section below the shotgun you're finding the most success with.